Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back into the video today, and today I'm going to be getting into my NFL Week Five game picks. And um, and if, you know, NFL Week Five starts Thursday and Thursday night football between the own four Bears and the Washington, the two and two Washington Commanders. Uh, four teams have the bye this week, so that means there's only four, 14 total games. You have one Thursday night football game. You have one you have one Sunday morning game in London between the Bills and the Jaguars. You have um, Sunday night football. And but that's between the Cowboys and the 49ers. It's probably going to be the best game of the week. You have and then you have Monday Night Football, which I think is going to be a freaking great game between the Packers and the Raiders, which the Packers, you know, that's Devontae Adams' first game against his former team, the Green Bay Packers. And rumors have said that Devontae could be going back to Green Bay. Uh, so this could be a little bit of a, not only uh, a rematch against his former team, but maybe a potential game against his potential new team again so um it's been rumored that the packers have interest in Devontae adams at the trade deadline but four teams that have the buy the cleveland browns the los angeles chargers the seattle seahawks and the seattle seahawks and um and so the, sorry the cleveland brown there's two afc teams two and, a, and a nfc teams the cleveland browns the los angeles chargers the seattle seahawks and the and the um and the tampa bay buccaneers Three of those teams, it has to be great that they have the bye. I mean, the Chargers, Justin Herbert hurt his hurt his finger against the Raiders. He he needs the, he needs the week off. Browns, Deshaun Watson was out this week against the Ravens. He needs the week off uh, to you know to heal. I know Geno Smith came in you know came back in last night, uh, but he hurt his knee and um, and missed a couple drives last night against the in the Monday Night Football game against the Giants. So uh, probably you know they he needs he, him and the team needs a week off to you know heal that injury and um, three quarterbacks that got hurt this past weekend and Geno Smith, uh, Geno Smith, Deshaun Watson. And Justin Herbert all had the week off to heal from those injuries. So yeah, let's get into my week five game picks. Starting off with Thursday night football with the Chicago Bears and the Washington Commanders. I think the Bears are going to keep it close. I think Fields is going to have another good game, but I think their defense and their O line are going to sell. And I think the Commanders are going to win thirty one to twenty nine. Then the Bills and the Jaguars. This is going to be a great game. The Jaguars. This is like their second home in London. They just won last week in London against the Falcons twenty three to seven. But the Bills, in my opinion are the best team in the AFC, and I think the Bills win it 30-28, to but I think the Jaguars keep it close. Then a divisional matchup between the Tennessee Titans and the Indianapolis Colts. I have the Tennessee Titans shocking the Indianapolis Colts, or getting an upset at least, uh, beating the Indianapolis Colts 26-21. to um, I think DeAndre Hopkins has his biggest game as a Titan yet. He's not had a touchdown in the first uh, four games as a Tennessee Titan. I think he does it this week, gets his first touchdown as a Tennessee Titan. I think Derrick Henry has a good game. You see a really good uh, you see a really good game between two two and two divisional teams. Uh with and actually cool thing right now is everybody in the AFC South is two and two. The Texans are two and two, the Jags are two and two, the Colts and the Titans are two and two. So everybody's two and two right now. Two of the div- the Giants and the you know, sorry, the Titans and the Colts are playing each other. The Jags are playing the Bills. The Texans are playing the Falcons. Honestly, here how here's how I see the AFC playing out. I see the Bills beating the Jags, and then the Titans beating the Colts, and then the Texans beating the Falcons. Then that points the Texans and Titans at the top of the division, and the Jags and the Colts at the bottom. But let's get into the rest of my picks. But I had the Titans beating the Colts twenty six to twenty one. Then in the in my basically. I don't know. Yeah, this is my biggest blowout of the week, or or one of my biggest blowouts of the week. I had the Miami Dolphins beating the Giants thirty three to sixteen. I think there's real potential in this game for Daniel Jones to get benched, and I actually have it happening in the third quarter. I have Daniel Jones getting benched for Tyrod Taylor. I don't know how better Tyrod Taylor would do if he gets put in the game, but I think Daniel Jones will get benched in this game, and the Dolphins will have a better, you know, a better, a, a better, you know, a way better bounce back on offense this week. Uh, the Dolphins scored 20 points on offense last week against the Buffalo Bills. I have them scoring 20 in the first half and 33 points in the ballgame, winning 33-16. to I have the Houston Texans beating the Falcons on the road 23-6. to Texans win their third straight game. The Falcons lose their third straight. And the Houston Texans win their third straight game, and that would be their first third straight game win uh, since 2018 when they won nine straight games 
uh, in 2000, in the 2018 season. 2019 season, they won two straight games five different times. But nev- 2000, the 2019 season, the Houston Texans um, won 10 games, never won three in a row, won two in a row five times, and that's how they won all their games in 2019. And then 2018, they won nine games in a row, uh, but this would be their first First time winning three games in a row since 2018. Stroud is that special. They're going to get some players back. Should get back right tackle Titus Howard and left tackle Laramie Tunsil. And then linebacker Denzel Perryman. Uh, and Desmond Ritter is terrible. This offense is terrible. They don't use their players right like Drake London and Kyle Pitts. And I think the Texans will have an easy win in Atlanta. The only problem is stopping B. John Robinson. Then the Lions and the Panthers. I don't see anything changing for the Panthers here. I see them starting out 0 and 5, just like the Chicago Bears. Uh, I think the Lions win it 27 and 9 at home. Then I think this would be a really good game between the Patriots and the Saints. I think the Patriots beat the Saints 27 to 23. I think Derek Carr has a better performance, getting a little bit more healthy. But I think the Patriots, Mac Jones, thinking, think he. I think he's going to have to th- put it in his mindset that if I don't win this game, if we don't win this game today. My job is on the line. We got to go out there and get the win. I got the Patriots winning 27 to 23. And then I got the Ravens beating the Steelers 16 to 13. I know the Steelers offense hasn't been great, but you always see the Ravens Steelers have close, you know, whenever they play, they always have close, low scoring games where the defense are the stars of the show. And, um, and you see a very low scoring game where it's like it ends up in uh, a two, you know, the winner wins by in the area of two to four points. And I think that happens. I think the Ravens win by three, 16 to 13 on the road. This is going to be a home game for Pittsburgh. Even wh- whoever the quarterback is, Mitch Trubisky um, and or Kenny Pickett, ho- however bad that offense is, I think they'll be able to score 13 points and lose by three to the, to the Ravens. Uh, and then a huge bounce back for the Cincinnati Bengals. I have the Bengals winning thirty to sixteen over the Cardinals. I think Joe Burrow finally gets hot, and I think I think Joe Burrow ex- I think Joe Burrow exposes that that Cardinals defense. Then I have the Kansas City Chiefs beating the Minnesota Vikings thirty one to twenty four, and the Vikings go to one and four to start the season, and the Kansas City Chiefs go to four and one. Uh, then the Eagles and the Rams have a very low scoring, good defensive game between the Eagles and the Rams. The Eagles have been tight. You know, their the Eagles and opponents have been tight with things. The commanders, um, the commanders almost beat them. They, the Eagles only, uh, lost by, uh, the, the Eagles only won by three points week three. Well, week two, they, um, they only beat the Vikings by six week, week one. They only beat the Patriots by five. Um, I can't remember who the Eagles played in week three, but I think it was a close game, and um, I think the Eagles and the Rams are close, and I think the Eagles win it 23-16 to to start the season out 5-0, and which would be great for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, then the Jets and the Broncos, we saw how good Zach Wilson was this past week, and I think he carries that on against Denver. This will be a, between two and one, between two, one, and three teams, this will be one of the best matchups you ever see a one and three team. You have... Um, you know, Nathaniel Hackett, Jets, Jets offensive coordinator matching up um, against his old team, the Denver Broncos. After all the trash talking that happened throughout the offseason, Sean Payton taking shots at Nathaniel Hackett, Aaron Rodgers taking shots at, um, at you know, at Sean Payton. I know Rodgers is not going to be playing, but I think this is going to be a good game. The Bron- both teams would or both teams need a win. Um, I mean, obviously, it's not like your season is 100 percent over if you're one in four. But you're, you have a lot better chances at two and three than at one and four. I think the Jets went on the road twenty one to nineteen. Then Sunday night football, I have the Dallas Cowboys beating the 49ers. I think the biggest factor in this game is going to be defense and how that you know the, the both sides' defense has stopped the offense. I am more uh, trustworthy in uh, the Cowboys' defense stopping. I'm sorry, I'm more trustworthy in the 49ers' defense stopping the Dallas Cowboys offense than the Dallas Cowboys than the Dallas Cowboys defense stopping the 49ers offense. And the only reason I say that is because the 49ers have a way better offense than the Cowboys. But the Cowboys have a way better defense. So what does that say? Uh, I think that says that the Cowboys defense continues to do what they do. I just don't trust the Cowboys offense against this 49ers defense. Uh, but I think their defense keeps them in this game. Dak is able to prove a couple good drives. Not only that, but I think Dak shows, you know, you know, Definitely goes out there thinking about that divisional playoff game last year, and the Cowboys, 
uh, win 20 to 17 against the 49ers in a very close game, but wouldn't sh- wouldn't surprise me at all if the 49ers just kicked the Cowboys' butts in this game. And the reason I say that is just the stacked offense, and um, but I think the Cowboys' defense will be able to handle them though. Um, then Packers Raiders, uh, you got Monday Night Football. Wouldn't surprise me if the Raiders win, but I got the Packers 24 to 17. They had a rough week last week against the against the Lions. They're two and two now. I think the Packers win their third win of, get their third win of the season and improve to three and two. Uh, So yeah, that is it for my week five game picks. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and peace out.